methods of genetic recombination in bacteria. There are three methods by which bacteria can undergo genetic recombination, transformation, transduction, and conjugation. Transformation occurs naturally in some species of bacteria, but it can also be induced in the lab. In order for transformation to occur, competency must be induced. For transformation to happen, bacteria must be in a state of competence, which might occur as a time-limited response to environmental conditions such as electrical charge, temperature, starvation, or cell density. Some bacteria are able to take up plasmids or other fragments of genetic material from their surroundings under certain conditions. Free-floating DNA can then be picked up by competent cells. The exogenous DNA is incorporated into the host cell's chromosome via recombination. Transformation can also be induced in a lab. There are several methods used in laboratories to induce competency. One of the most popular and easiest ways to induce competency in bacteria is the heat shock method. Heat shocking involves exposing bacteria to a moderately high temperature for a brief amount of time. Immediately following the heat exposure, the cell culture is then put on ice. This sudden extreme temperature change causes specialized surface proteins on the cell membrane to allow the plasmid to pass through. Bacteria are able to internalize the plasmids and they can then express the genes on those plasmids in the form of proteins. Another form of bacterial genetic recombination is transduction. Transduction is the injection of foreign DNA by a bacteriophage virus into a host bacterium. Bacteriophages can accidentally transfer genetic material from one bacterium to another. In transduction, DNA is transferred from one bacterium to another by a virus or viral vector. Transduction can also be used in the lab to introduce a foreign gene into a bacterial host cell's genome. Transduction happens through either the lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle. When bacteriophages normally infect a bacterial cell, the virus's genetic material harnesses the host cell's replicational, transcriptional, and translational machinery to reproduce itself. When the new bacteria are formed, the new bacteriophages must package their DNA into their new capsids. This process is not perfect. We find that sometimes small pieces of bacterial DNA will get packaged along with the bacteriophages genome. When the new bacteriophages infect a new host cell, the bacterial DNA will be injected along with the viral genome. Another way that genetic recombination in bacteria can occur is conjugation. Conjugation is the transfer of genetic material between two bacterial cells in direct contact with each other through a cytoplasmic bridge. In bacterial conjugation, bacterial cells are able to exchange their genetic material. Remember, this is not done as part of a reproductive process. Conjugation is made possible due to the presence of an F plasmid. The F plasmid is a fertility plasmid. The F plasmid contains genes necessary that allows the bacteria to form a sex pilus. The sex pilus can penetrate the cell wall and membranes of another bacterium. The sex pilus forms a cytoplasmic bridge with another bacterium. Once that cytoplasmic bridge forms, the F plasmid is then replicated and the copy of the plasmid will be transferred to the other bacterium. When the bacteria receives its copy of the F plasmid, it then has the ability to now create its own sex pilus and can go give copies of its F plasmid to another bacterium. 